we were uh, looking at some of the comments here on the uh, Facebook page, and somebody had asked a question about one of the most. How, how, how does it go? It was uh, Thomas Hickey. He said, I could spend hours learning from a man like that. Did you get a chance to ask him what the most important thing in life he's learned? So we talked about that just a little while ago on the porch, and Ralph I didn't really. I don't know why they that. Because <laughs> you don't know what the most important thing you've learned? No. You know? Daddy, you've learned a lot of good lessons. I know. <laughs> well, what's and you've lesson? taught a lot of good lessons. Yes, you have. I don't know. And every time you taught us, you've learned it somewhere. So Lisa had mentioned some things. Tell us what you mentioned earlier, Lisa, that he taught you growing up. Well, I, Dad has always taught us to work for what you have and be honest and never expect anything for free. So is that a pretty good lesson to work yeah, hard? that's a good lesson. Did you learn? Who taught you that lesson, Papa? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I learned it from growing up. <laughs> so this is, uh, we're here uh, on your daddy's and mom's old place where you grew up, where Joey lives now, and uh, we see some of the... Uh, Stuff in the background that we filmed before on some of the other uh, videos. We've got the barn down there where your tractor's at. And we've got the outhouse back here where we found the, uh, I guess the correct name for it's chamber pot. I call it the pea pot, but I don't think that's the right name, is it? No, no. What'd you all call them? Pot. Pot. <laughs> A what? It's the pot. Pea pot. Pea pot. Pea pot. So I understand you had a bad bicycle wreck one time when you was a kid. Yeah, I did. Heard you got hurt pretty bad. Yeah. Had to go get some stitches? <clears throat> yeah. Would you tell us about what happened? I don't know. I'd been, I'd drunk some, been drinking some liquor that morning. I got kind of high, I guess, and wrecked. On a bicycle? On a bicycle. Lord have mercy. It's getting me up all over. I was skint everywhere, buddy. The inside of my hand is just peeled up there. And there's the back of my hands was. Had a big old knot to come on my hand back there. Both hands. And my shoulders and hips and knees. All over. How old were you? I don't know how in the world I've done that. Do you remember how old you were? I don't remember how old I was, but I was about, uh, let's see, probably about 12, 13 years old, something like that. So you said you were 12 or 13 years old and you'd got liquored up? Had yeah. You, you'd been drinking at that early of an age? And you had a, was you driving real fast on your bicycle? I was going as fast as I could go down the hill over. Oh my goodness. Did you hit something? I don't know what I hit. I just wrecked just right in the middle of the road, skipped me all over. I must have rolled and tumbled and everything else. Well, did you get My in daddy, trouble? When I come in, they took me to the doctor to get me dressed up, put my hands and it skipped my hand to peel that hide back and it was rolled up here. And they took scissors and cut that off. Oh. I bet that hurt. No, it didn't hurt. Was you still drunk? When they... <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I was. I don't know. <laughs> well, where'd you get a hold of liquor like that at 12 or 13 years old? Hey, people give it to me. 
They gave it to you to see if you'd ride that bicycle as fast as you could, didn't they? <laughs> well, I bet you didn't get liquored up and ride that bicycle no more, did you? I probably didn't. I don't remember. Well. I might have. <laughs> It sounds like you might have went to drinking at a young age. I did. Yeah. You, your daddy didn't drink. I bet he didn't approve of that. He did never he? did drink. He, I don't believe he ever tasted liquor. My daddy did. Never tasted of it. Well, did you get in trouble for being liquored up and wrecking that bicycle? No, I didn't get in no trouble. I come in, they took me to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tear the bicycle up, too? No. No? Just tore your hide up, didn't it? Tore my hide up. It sure did. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so that's a good story there. That's up on that hill, going down over this ridge over his hill right here, right? Yeah, on top of the ridge, you know, where the road turns up to go up up the hill. Uh, yeah. Way up here, about a mile up the road. Right. From right to the top of that hill down on the other side. So you got up there and went as fast as you could pedal down the hill until it wrecked. Yeah, I did. Was there anybody watching? Yeah. There was people up on top of the hill where I lived. Yeah. Who helped you Another out? a bunch of boys up there. Did they come down there and pick you up off the ground and drag yeah, you home? Yeah, somebody did and rode me down here to the house on a bicycle. Oh, they put you on another bicycle and brought you. Yeah. So, yeah, and you I left mine. I don't know where, who, somebody must have brought it home. I don't know who brought it. Well, you know, there's a picture we was looking at over there at your house when we was there of you and your wife before you got married. And you're sitting on a bicycle there. Is that the bicycle you might have wrecked? I guess it was. I don't know. Yeah. Well, do you think that was about the time you... You met your wife when you was about 14, I guess, or yeah. 15. So, did you stop drinking once you met your wife? No, I never did. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, did you have any more bad wrecks? No, no? never had no dozen. Well, that's good. <clears throat> <clears throat> see some of Joey's cats around, running around here. Now, what are you going to do with that? You get all that stuff on there and get it made. Well, we put these videos on Facebook and people watch them all over the United States. They people even in Canada and in Australia. I seen somebody make a comment from Australia on there. You did? I did. They are watching all the way from Australia. What do you think about that? Oh, my goodness. They they like seeing, uh, they like hearing your stories about growing up here in Greasy Holler. <laughs> so, yeah, that the one video I did about your tractor, it's called A Man and His Tractors, the one where we went up there and looked at your Ford tractor. Well, that video's got 250,000 views on it. That's a lot of views. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, 250,000 people look at that video. Huh. And the other videos have got 50,000 or 30,000. They all oh got a lot of goodness. views on them. Yeah. They like they like hearing these stories of Greasy Holler out here. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess they like to hear the truth about things. You know, your Lisa said that one of the things you taught them growing up was to be truthful and hardworking and be honest. Yeah. So you tell the truth about it. When I asked you if you ever stopped drinking, you you didn't lie, did you? No. You said you'd get cut cap on. It looks like you stopped at some point now. I ain't never seen you drunk. Oh, I ain't, I ain't drunk none in a long time. Must have gave it up some years ago, didn't you? When I got quit running around, I quit drinking. Yeah. Gave it up and quit, didn't you? But I run around a long time after I was married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, 
you seemed like you took care of things here at the house. You got your girls raised and got them in school. And yeah, I did. I tried to tried to raise them up right. Must be really nice to have six daughters to come help take care of you and be around and cook and all that different things yeah. they do for you. I know there's one about every night comes and spends the night with you, ain't he? Yeah, they is. Yeah, we're supposed to meet today, all of them, and one of them got around somebody that had that COVID and couldn't come, so they had to be quarantined. So we're going to try to get together again next Who was that, Betty? Maybe, yeah. She got around. I don't think she's got COVID, but she got around somebody that had it, so. She'll get it, I guess. Well, let's hope not. She probably won't. But you just got to be safe and be quarantined. So maybe I next time. That's Betty Joe, would I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. But we're going to try to replan about them coming out here and us talking and having. I'm going to get a picture of you and all the girls together out there on the front porch of your house. That'd be good. Yeah. Well, it's getting cold, so I guess we'll try to go to your house or go inside Joey's here and, and warm up a minute. We'll go inside there. You ain't never been in there, have you, in Joey's house? Yeah, I've been in there. Have you? Yeah. She showed me when I come over here one day. She just won't let me film in there. She's wanting to clean it up a little bit better than I can film. Well, I think it looked pretty good. In, that won't show up in the video. Well, that's what I told her, but she's wanting to get it cleaned up. Then we're going to go in there and look and film where you, uh, where you grew up as a kid. Did your mom? Did your mom cook some good breakfast in there in the mornings? Yeah, every yeah. morning. But that was some. What, what did you? What was your favorite thing? She made the same three times a day. She cooked three she times. She cooked for work hands about every day. Oh, work hands. What do you mean? People working on the farm. On the farm, yeah. Yeah. So she'd feed everybody working. Yeah. So we used to come here and eat every day. So your daddy, uh, uh, Jonah, what? What did he did he raise tobacco too for, before you did? Was he raising tobacco? Yeah, he raised tobacco, but he run the store that yeah. time. But when you before he run the store, you said he had work hands here helping. I guess that's when he was harvesting tobacco and stuff like that yeah. when you needed people. I know some people's made some comments. I remember working for you when I was just a kid. Yeah, uh, cutting tobacco. Of, I've worked a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, some of them said that you paid them 50 cents an hour back then. They said that was good money back in the day yeah. for a kid. It was. So, your tobacco, did you, uh, once you dried it out, did you have to haul it to market, or did you get somebody to come pick it up? You had to grade it off, you know, first. Had to pull it all off the stalk. Yeah. And tie it. Tie yeah. it up in hands. And then put it on the basket all the way around like that, way up high. You could put 700 pounds on a basket. How many pounds did you grow a year? I don't know. I growed a lot of tobacco. I growed about two acres every year, and that's a lot. It's a lot of time taking care of tobacco. tobacco. Yeah. Well, if you moved down here to Joey's house, you'd have to inherit all these cats. What would you do with all these cats? I don't know what I'd do with them cats. <laughs> well, let's go inside and see right what these first, women do. Right the first three cats right there. See another one there under. That's a pole cat. See that pole cat? Yeah, it's a skunk, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's wanting some... It's wanting some cat food, ain't it? You want them to go in the house? Well, it's getting cold. I don't want you to get cold now. Hmm. Damn. We sat there too long, didn't we?
We're coming in. Come on in. I don't care if you're coming in. Thank <laughs> you.